Hello and welcome. This is our lecture video for August 26th through 27th. For today's lecture, I'm going to be taking notes on this worksheet, How to Solve a PEMDAS Problem. You should have gotten this last class, uh, but if you don't have a copy of it for whatever reason, perhaps you're absent, it's also available on our Extra Stuff calendar, which you can uh, find a link to on Canvas. So these step-by-step -step binder lessons, these are a little bit different. Uh, they are still notes, but it's a very specific kind of notes. Uh, it's typically something we've already covered, but now we're going to do kind of like a perfect copy of these notes. Uh, and it's going to be laid out in a step-by-step -step manner. We're going to use this big white space off to the right to write down all these steps. All these step-by-step -step binders are going to be set up very similarly. And if you do a good job with these, you are allowed to use your step-by-step -step binder uh, on quizzes and tests. So this is three-hole punch, so you can put it into a three-ring binder. And you can use that binder to store all of your other notes, but definitely have a section for just these, because this is what you're allowed to use on quizzes and tests. And this is a copy of all of the notes from this class with no extra stuff. So it's like one perfect set of notes that you can use and hopefully take with you going forward to Algebra 1 Part 2. All right, so that's what our step-by-step -step binder is. Let's go ahead and take notes on this one. Go ahead, put your name up there. Uh, today's date, you can put the 26th, since that's one of our lecture days, or you can put whatever day you're actually taking these notes. And go ahead and put your period number there. All right, before we start writing in the steps, I want to use some of this white space to write out what PEMDAS is in a very abbreviated way. So PEMDAS, let's write it vertically. The P stands for parentheses. The E stands for exponents. M stands for multiply, D stands for divide, A stands for add, S stands for subtract. So you might already be asking, well, why am I writing this down again? Didn't we write this in our notes last class? But we want one really clean and neat version of this without lots of extra stuff around it that's in our step-by-step -step binder because we can't go look at our other notes during quizzes and tests, but we can look at this. All right, and let's bracket together, multiply and divide, and just say left to right. Same thing with add and subtract. That is also done left to right. All right, so now that we have this one very nice looking copy of uh, what PEMDAS stands for, let's go ahead and start writing our steps. So we're given a problem like problem number one. The directions say to evaluate the expression. What are we going to do? How do we approach this? Well, we do it in a step-by-step -step way. So step one. All right, we want to add in any hidden multiplication or parentheses. Add in any hidden multiplication or parentheses. So what does that mean? So sometimes uh, multiplication or parentheses are implied by the way that the problem is set up. If I have something like three in front of a set of parentheses, two plus one, there is hidden multiplication here between the three and the parentheses. Anytime I put a number directly in front of a set of parentheses, we can get some hidden multiplication. All right, hidden parentheses happen on big fractions. So if I've got the fraction, you know, one plus two over three plus four, 
there is some hidden parentheses on the top and the bottom telling me I have to combine the whole top and the whole bottom before I can do the division. Okay, so let's look at problem number one. Is there any hidden multiplication or parentheses? Well, I don't see any hidden multiplication, but I can add a set of parentheses around the whole top and the whole bottom like we just talked about. That fraction is a grouping symbol. Okay. Step two. All right, so we want to simplify inside any parentheses to a single number. And let's add in an extra little note on this step that multiply and divide still go before add and subtract even inside parentheses. All right, let's see if we can do that on our problem here. So, and here we even have some parentheses inside of parentheses. So the rule applies again. We have to go to the most inside parentheses and simplify that so that we can simplify the most outside parentheses. The five minus five, that's our most inside parentheses. All right, that can be combined into a zero. And now I've got on the bottom, let me rewrite this with some space. So this is still four minus zero. I'm gonna drop those parentheses because I can't simplify any further, times four. And then on the top, I still have that two squared. We haven't talked about exponents yet in our steps. All right, we'll come back to that problem. Let's write down step three. Step three is to replace any exponents with a single number. All right, I'm gonna write down steps four and five and then we'll go back to that problem. So step four is to Combine numbers left to right using multiplication and division. And step five, we'll just say complete all addition and subtraction left to right. All right, and I want to add an asterisk at the bottom here. It's not really a step, but it's a good note, is that only do one step at a time. Show it clearly. Then rewrite the whole problem. So doing these PEMDAS problems requires a little bit of discipline, 
because we need to rewrite the whole problem many times in the process of getting to the answer and only doing one or maybe two steps at a time. There are times where we can do two steps at a time. One would be here where I replace this two squared with a four. Two squared means two times two, which is a four. Then maybe also I do the four time, zero times four on the bottom as well. But I'm showing clearly what's happening. Zero times four is becoming a zero. And then I have to rewrite the four minus over here. Always rewriting everything. Now the only thing I'm gonna do in this next step is combine the, the four minus zero, makes this just four over four, and then four divided by four is a one. All right, let's try to apply PEMDAS to problem number two. All right, hidden parentheses and hidden multiplication. There's just one spot with some hidden multiplication. This two in front of the set of parentheses is two times whatever that quantity is. So I can't really see that well, so I'm just gonna write this as two times parentheses, three times two plus 15 over three minus four. Okay, so I find my, my parentheses. I only have got one set of parentheses, so I gotta simplify what's inside here. And I still have to do the multiplication and the division before I do this addition. So I'm gonna do the three times two, that becomes a six. This 15 divided by three isn't connected at all, so I can do that one at the same time. 15 divided by three is a five. And then I've got this minus four still at the end. All right, parentheses still aren't gone. I have to do the six plus the five. So now I get two times, six plus five is 11. Parentheses can go away, minus four. Now I do the multiplication before the subtraction. So two times 11 is 22, minus four is 18. Circle your final answer. All right, there's a couple more in the back here. Try them on your own real quick. And I'm going to do them. All right, so for problem number three, I've got some hidden parentheses on top and bottom. You have, whenever you have a large fraction, you have to simplify the whole top and then the whole bottom. All right, on top, I can do the six minus one and turn that into a five. On the bottom, I can do this most inside parentheses and turn that six minus three into a three. So six minus three plus two. Now I have to go left to right, and you have to do this just one step at a time. So five over six minus three is gonna become a three plus two. Can't do this at the same time because they both share this three. You have to do it in two separate steps. Five over three plus two is five, so it's five over five. Now we can complete the division to get a one. All right, last one, problem number four. Do we see any hidden multiplication or um, parentheses? I don't. So next I can replace my exponents with a single number. Six squared means six times six, which is a 36 minus. I can start simplifying inside this parentheses too. I'm gonna to start with the multiplication because that comes before addition or subtraction. So one plus 12 minus six. Now I've got addition and subtraction. I go left to right inside here. 36 minus 13 minus six. Rewriting it every time, 36 minus seven. Final answer, 29. All right. Let's see. I think that's all I have to say about this. Um, but I had another thing I wanted to say. What was it? I can't remember. All right, that's that for these notes. Have a good rest of your day.